here to the Millbridge Speedway in in Mooresville, North Carolina, and the 321 is ready to go. Um, this is going to be technically our second night of um, QRC East Coast Nationals, but um, last night at the fair got rained out, so this is going to be our first full night of racing. Hoping that the weather stays away. It's looking like it's going to, but I mean, you never know. North Carolina can very much surprise you. We got we saw that last night, but um, we hot lap tonight, so we hot lap second quick, so. A uh, great start to our night, but hot laps obviously don't matter. And the thing that matters the most is going to be up next, and that's going to be qualifying. So it's definitely going to be important to qualify that we can have a solid start to our night. Um, it's a little bit different of a format. Everything's going to be straight up still, but you're going to qualify where you qualify. We'll line you up for a heat race, and then top two in the heat race make it to the dash. And then if you make it to the dash, it'll be a dash um, redraw or inverse, some type of thing like that. So. Very important that we go out there, qualify well, and run a good heat race so that we can put the 321 in tonight's dash. We're gonna start off our night with qualifying. We go out towards the middle, so our, our car should be pretty fast, and we should be able to run the top and get a good time. So we're going to start third and our goal in the heat race is going to be to get into the top two that we can transfer into the into tonight's dash If we don't get into into the top two then we're going to be starting ninth or or back in the future So it's very crucial we go out here have a good heat race run and make it into the top two So heat race is going to be up next and the 321 is going to be rolling off from third Setting with Heat Race 1 winner, Parker Mockridge. Parker, you had a really fast 321 in that first one. How are you feeling right now? Feeling really good. Our car feels super good. Um, yeah, Jimmy Ellich has got us dialed, and we're ready for the feature or the dash. Ready for the dash, ready for the feature, everything well. You can roll a 0, a 4, or a 6, and it's going to set your pace up for this uh, dash coming up right now. So go ahead and roll it. Oh, she almost got the 0. She's got the 6. Parker Mockridge is going to start from six, and then Ash comes. Parker, do you think you can pass six? I'm going to get back to the point. Oh yeah, we're going to be really fast. Parker Mockridge with a lot of confidence coming to this dash for this open division here in just a little bit. But right now, we're going to get ready to kick off our cadet B main. Thank you, Parker. Thank you. Heat race is complete. Um, we were supposed to start third in the heat race, but the car starting in the outside pole didn't end up being able to make the the call, so we ended up switching up to the outside pole. And we were we started on the pole. Um, I'm pretty sure we led all but one lap, 
So didn't lead the first lap, but eventually got to the lead pretty quick and, and led all the laps from there. The car behind was just throwing bombs that were honestly not necessary, but either way, we were able to, you know, do what we needed to do and, and like not lose my head. I just kept it nice and smooth. I knew I was faster, so I just kept it smooth and crossed over, crossed over, and eventually um, we were able to drive away and lead the rest of the remaining laps. So great heat race run for us. We, after the heat race, because I was a um, high point guy or something, they had me roll the dice in the infield and I ended up rolling the six. So apparently our dice rolling skills need some more work and we can get better numbers next time. But that means there's gonna be a six car invert for the dash. So the 321 is gonna be going off from six. So six car dash, we're gonna be starting six and we just need to move forward so we have a better starting position for the A. So trophy dash is gonna be up next and we're gonna be starting six.
too. Solid run for us. Our car was good, we were fast. Um, we ran in third for the beginning of the race, then the car in second had problems, so then we um, finished, then we got moved up to the second spot. Um, I think our car was fast, I felt good. The track was getting pretty slick off the top of the racetrack, so it was hard to run up there, but we still did it, and we still did really well. But the leader was just, he was fast, and he was also in clean air, which helps a lot, but um, he was also really fast. He set a really good pace, and we just weren't able to catch him this time. So we're going to be back here at Millbridge tomorrow um, for another round of racing. Just the same format, same everything, but um, nothing to hang our heads on. I'm really happy with our finish. Second is definitely a solid finish, and I feel like if we had a restart, I might have been able to throw something at the leader, but ultimately, we once you, we get going green, there's not much I could have done. So overall, solid night for us at Millbridge. Um, thank you guys all so much for supporting me and, and shout out to all my crew, pit crew tonight. Um, everyone worked super hard. We um, had to do a lot of things and changed a lot of a lot of stuff tonight between all the cars. So um, Factory QRC, Jimmy Ellis, my mom, dad, and everyone else that helped us out. So it was a good finish and we're going to be back for even more tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lights out.